Howdy guys, Gail Kellogg here. I want to introduce you to our latest watercraft. We were looking for something between the kayaks and our big old FHS pontoon boat and we found this beautiful little skiff which I'm calling the FHS Trout Skiff. This thing is going to bring a whole nother dimension to the channel. Um, this little boat's going to give me a ton of range um, at big lakes like Tahoe, Shasta, Elmanor, um, you name it. Um, it's small enough for small lakes. It's only 14 feet long. It's a tri-hull. It's a fiberglass boat. Um, it's foam filled, unsinkable. Think Boston Whaler, super nimble. Um, it's just an awesome boat. I'm out here today at Sugar Pine Reservoir. I'm breaking in the engine. I've got a Suzuki 20 horse on there. And uh, this is a zippy, sporty little boat. Let's take off. I'll show you what you can do. Here we go. Lucy's up front there. I got a top end speed of about 21 miles an hour. Right now I'm going 13. Um, it's not super stable. It's pretty stable. I'm more used to being on that pontoon boat. I just came out of, you know, two months of guiding on the pontoon, which is super stable. And, you know, my kayaks, they're probably about as stable as this boat, but I'm sitting down most of the time. This boat doesn't have any seats. I'm working that out. Um, this is a walk around boat. It's got a stand up hill, and uh, it is going to be a trout killing machine. Let me slow down a little bit here. During the break in procedure, you're supposed to vary the speed and not go, you know, at, at top end RPMs for very long at all. So I've been out here for about 90 minutes now, just kind of kind of seeing how the boat rides, varying the speed constantly. Let me show you the cockpit here. Let me grab my other camera. This camera's running. So this is the stand-up helm. I've got all my power switches here. Of course, I got my hummingbird right there. I've got a lot of interference on there from the outboard right now, but if I slow down, you start to see it clear up right there in the corner. It's the same unit we run on the kayak, same unit we run on the boat. Um, the one on the boat's a little bit bigger, but same technology, cool nautical steering wheel with the suicide handle here for steering. Um, I have a Bluetooth radio which seems to sync with my phone. However, I haven't been able to, to get that to work. Um, I've got a lot of storage underneath the helm here. Um, ice chest here. I'm gonna work out an ice chest seat. That seems to be pretty darn comfortable. Um, just got some random stuff up here. I got my, uh, got a spinning rod. Let's try a little bass fishing today. A paddle, a paddle just in case and a uh, waterproof bag and back here I've got that 20 horse suzuki got my fuel supply um i've got a couple rod holders mounted there there i need to put some rod holders up front for my passengers up front um but beyond that i just need to figure out where the cameras are going to go figure out a, a vertical rod holder um i think i'm going to put the vertical rod holder over in this area right here and uh, get out and get after the fish. I'm hoping to have the lion's share of the break-in period completed today. Um, due to the, you know, the the nature of the of this boat, um, Lucy and I and whoever my passenger is, if I have a passenger, we're going to be wearing the flotation devices all day, every day. Um, I got this cool self-inflating um, vest here. I didn't want to wear the big bulky one I wear when I'm on the kayak. It makes sense in the kayak. Here, I want to be able to move around. And you know, it is a, it is kind of a rocky vessel. You could fall out of here. Of course, I'm going to use all due caution. And uh, one, of the, one of the components of all due caution is wearing the PDF. And when I'm running fast, I'm going to be running the kill switch in case I do, you know, fall out of the boat. Um, it will kill the motor and I'll be able to get back to the boat and kind of figure it out from there. Anyway, this is the FHS Trout Skiff. Um, like I said, it's going to add a whole new dimension to the channel. We are going to be towing this boat all over Northern California, Central California, maybe up into Oregon, maybe as far as Washington. And uh, I'm going to be bringing you a lot of great hard hitting fishing content from this platform just as soon as I as I get it figured out. So anyway, watch for this boat in the future. Thanks for all the support and I'll catch you next time right here on the FHS 
YouTube channel where we talk fishing, 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 and occasionally we talk new watercraft. I'm out of here for now. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. Here we go. Woohoo!